Hi Booktube, Lynette here and in today's video I thought that instead of giving you an actual bookshelf tour I would give you a little tour of all the physical books that I own that are on my TBR. So these are going to be books that I have never read before um, rather than books that I own because um, I've got some books on my shelves that I've owned and I've read I've got some that I've owned that I've read previously and the copies are replacements um, because I got rid of them um, and I'm rereading them um, so I'm not going to talk about anything that is going to be a reread uh, and I'm not going to give you a synopsis for each book it is literally just going to be a book A, book B, book, book C but I just thought I would hold them all up for you and um if I can figure out how to do it, there may even be a counter on screen for how many I've got. I have three different areas. Uh, so I have a cart that has the books on it that I've received in the Romance Readers book box. I have my main shelves that are usually behind me in videos. And I have on the other side of the room, I have a shelf that has all of my middle grade. Um, so the first books I'm going to go through are all the romance books that I have um, from the book cart. Uh, so like I said, these all came from the Romance Readers um, book box. I will try and leave a link to the website down below just in case you're interested. Um, she has different types of boxes, so you can have two or four or six books you can have four books with goodies you can have six books with goodies you can have four books without goodies um so yeah the goodies are very small things and it's not like um taking out a fairy loot um or any of those other massive subscriptions where you get lots and lots of bits and pieces you might you'll get a candle you might get one or two other bits and pieces you'll get some bookmarks and you'll get some author related bits and pieces um, but other than that, it is about the books. So let's go through the ones that I have received over the last 12 months. A Bridge Between Us by K.K. Allen. Owned by Him by Raven Amore. One by Jewel E. Ann. Hostile Air by Autumn Archer. Lorenzo Beretta by Abigail Davies. The Two Halves of My Heart by Rachel DeLune. More of You by A.L. Jackson Blurred Red Lines by Cora Kenborn Scarlet Limerence by K.A. Knight The Junior by Monica Murphy The Truth About Love by Maisie Myers Amour by H.L. Packer And just uh, a bit of extra information H.L. Packer is Heather Packer who runs the Romance Readers book box Someone Like You by Alexandra Silva Five by Lily White. Uh, so those were all the books from the book cart and the Romance Readers book box. Um, I keep all my books just for point of reference. I put all my books, regardless of genre, if they're on the shelf, regardless of genre, they are uh, shelved by author surname. Um, but they are also separated out into hardback and then paperbacks um, so that they're kept separately. So now I'm going to go through my main bookshelf. Uh, the first shelf is all hardback books or there is one book that isn't hardback but it, it's too big to sit with my regular paperbacks. Um, and then the rest of the shelves will be paperbacks. So I'm going to talk you through shelf one first of all. The first book is The Angel Maker by Stefan Breeze. Paris by Starlight by Robert Dinsdale. The Short Knife by Ellen Caldecott. D by Michael Faber The Queens of Innisleer by Tessa Grattan The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan Fairy Tale by Stephen King Burn by Patrick Ness Every Sky a Grave by Jay Posey Winter's Fury by A. E. Rain Atalanta by Jennifer Saint Sherwood by Megan Spooner Threadneedle by Carrie Thomas Beren and Luthien by J.R.R. Tolkien, um, edited by Christopher Tolkien. Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. I'm going to include books that I'm in the middle of reading at the moment. Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie, book two in his first Law trilogy. 
Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie, book three in the First Law trilogy. The Girl in the Tower and The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden, books two and three in her Winter Night trilogy. Splinters of Scarlet by Emily Bain Murphy. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Christmas at the Palace by Giovanni Charica. The Binding by Bridget Collins. A Time of Dread by John Gwynne. Shelf number three. The Imaginary Corpse by Tyler Hayes. A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. The Inheritance by Robin Hobb slash Megan Lindholm. Shelf four. Winter's Heart. Crossroads of Twilight. Knife of Dreams. The Gathering Storm. Towers of Midnight, A Memory of Light, and New Spring, all by Robert Jordan. Uh, they are books 9 to 14 and the um, companion story of The Wheel of Time. Uh, books 12, 13 and 14 were co-authored by Brandon Sanderson because he finished the series after Robert Jordan passed away. Shelf 5, Camelot by Giles Christian. Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco. Witherward by Hannah Mathewson. Hooked by Emily McIntyre. The Secrets of Drearcliff Grange School by Kim Newman. Autonomous by Anna Lee Newitz. The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. And the sixth and final shelf of my main bookcase, Cut by Mark Raab. Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn. These Twisted Bonds by Lexi Ryan. The Sisters of the Winterwood by Rena Rossner. The Trials of Solomon Parker by Eric Scott Fischel. The Grim Company. Sword of the North. And Dead Man's Steel, the Grim Company trilogy by Luke Skull. Three Women by Lisa Tadeo. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. The Last Dragon King by Leia Stone. Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, The Silmarillion, The Fall of Gondolin, The Children of Hurin, and Unfinished Tales, all by J.R.R. Tolkien, edited by Christopher Tolkien. The Shadow Glass by Josh Winning, Lord of the Fading Lands by C.L. Wilson, The Thousand Deaths of Ardor Ben, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. The final set of books I'm going to talk through are the books on my childhood shelves. So they're kind of like nine to 12 year old. The first two books, I'm not sure if they fit on those shelves or if they are more adult, young adult. Um, but I keep them over there just because that's where I have room for them because they're a bit of an odd size. So I'll do those two first and then the rest of the books will be nine to 12 year old age range if you're in the UK, middle grade if you're in the US. The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. As Old as Time, a Disney twisted tale. Uh, this is by Liz Braswell. Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. Little Foxes by Michael Morpurgo. Which Way to Anywhere by Cressida Cowell. Magic by Angie Sage. Cirque du Freak by Darren Shan. Dragon Rising and Dragon Destiny, both by Katie and Kevin Sang. Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow, and Hollowpox, The Hunt for Morrigan Crow, both by Jessica Townsend. Starfell, Willow Moss and the Vanished Kingdom, and Starfell, Willow Moss and the Magic Thief, both by Dominique Valente. And the final book across all my physical shelves is The Sword in the Stone by T.H. White. So I hope you've enjoyed that little tour through my unread physical books. Uh, my room is now an absolute shocking mess and I have to get all these books back on the shelves um, and I like them, as I said, to be in alphabetical order by author surname. Um, so that's going to take some doing because there were some books that hadn't been put away yet so I've got to do some reconfiguring. That's going to be fun. Uh, it was not how I planned to spend my Sunday afternoon but here we go. Uh, I will, if I haven't run a counter through the course of the video, I will put a total here of how many physical books 
I own that are currently unfinished or unread. I have included some unfinished books in this list as well. Um, so it's it's not an entirely unread. Like I say, it is all books that I have not read before. I haven't included any books that would be rereads. Um, so they are all fresh, new to me stories. There is only one that is a partial reread and that is Winter's Heart by Robert Jordan. I DNF'd it part way through back when it first came out. So I have included it in this uh, video because it is only a partial reread. Um, it would be classed as a new to me story in the main. Um, so that's why it's on here. Uh, how many unread books do you have on your physical TBR? Like I said, this is just my physical TBR. I'm trying to figure out how to do an audiobook TBR um, of books that I haven't listened to and also uh, to do a Kindle tour. Um, if I do them, they will be on the same basis as this. It will all be books that I have never read or listened to before. Um, so rereads will not be included. Partial reads will be included. Um, yeah, so look out for those over the coming weeks. Um, I'll hopefully be able to figure out the audio, the, the Kindle books I can do because I can pull up the covers on my Kindle screen. Um, audio books isn't the same, so I'm probably going to have to do something where I just talk you through them and put the, the book covers up here. Um, so I will see how that goes. But yeah, um, how many books do you have in your physical TBR? How many books do you have on your overall TBR? let me know in the comments down below please let me know that i'm not alone with the numbers um because it's always good to not be alone i've enjoyed making this video for you even though it was a lot of hard work and i look forward to seeing you in my next one bye